getting ready to start. Yeah. One, and off we go. Here we go. Bumper Oof. catching a little bit of the floor there, but. Yeah. Ooh. That could have been bad if Ziggy Jr. had connected with him, but he got a little bit of distance. Now they're backing right into the wall, right in front of Matthew Vasquez, the driver for Womper. So he's got the best view in the house for this attack. Trying to back Ziggy into the wall hey. here. Okay. They had a look of All right, creating some space. Yeah. We're a little bit out. of a hit there. Now Womper's getting under, but we haven't seen him try to use his lifter yet. Well, that's the second attempted hit from Ziggy Jr. Yeah, Ziggy's got a pretty low fork for spatula on the end of his. There we go. Oh, using the wall, kicking off the wall to right himself. It's a good move. Yeah. And now he's yeah, going for broke up against yeah. Whomper. Whomper's got those rubber wheels that are uh, very strong, can take a hit. And it looks like oh, yeah. Ziggy Jr.'s weapon isn't always getting far enough, but when it does, it's, it's doing some damage. Come on, let's, let's get a big hit here. Or we'll yeah, dance. Matt, Matt's doing Just a, a little delicate dance of combat. The, they're both doing a great job of facing up and keeping the keeping their face to one another. Yeah, keeping the business end forward. And we're, we're getting more of the dust things, which is sort of, yeah. you know, this sort of silly sidelight, but it's kind of cute, you know? There's little <laughs> clouds of dust floating around. Looks like one of those old Looney Tunes fights where you just literally right. turn into a cloud of dust. Right, 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 right. When you take the bullet. Ziggy Jr. getting caught up on the floor there. Yeah, that was a pretty strong grab. That was sort of surprising. I mean, when you look and at I'm the floor, th they did a great job getting it totally flat. But you got to remember, these things are floating around with like 125 pounds of force on those forks. So any little thing is going to get in their way. Yeah, and the entire point of them is to get low. So, yeah, yeah. you know, can't blame them for being able to succeed there. That's what they were designed to do. Like two oh. bulls locking horns again back in yeah, the corner. Yeah, nice move Wampers. on Wampers' part. Yeah. Yeah, Wampers. We're, we're down to the final 10 seconds of the fight. This Wampers is looking like it's going to go to a judge's decision. Got some control points in that one. Yeah. All right, man. So that's, that's time. It. Nice. Let's give match. it up for our competitors. That was well fought, well driven. Well strategized for people who like words like that. All right, gonna turn down the robots. We've got another uh, another fight that's gonna go to the judges. Where where do you have this, Stephen? Matt, you keep asking me this, Michael. Uh, I I honestly don't know. I saw I more aggression out of yeah. Ziggy Jr. It looked like. Yeah. I saw a little bit more control out of Womper. Well, uh, Ziggy Jr. certainly going for a lot of those flip attempts. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's, uh, I guess it, it's, it's, it's the way I look at the fights. And I'm not, I, I know you, it's a legitimate question. But I, I sort of, I'm in the moment of what's going on. And I'm not, because I don't have to judge. Sure. Which is a huge relief. Yeah. So that part of my brain's not working <laughs> on. And, and this is an extremely close match. Right. And it could go either way. I mean, there are a lot of great moves on stuff. Uh, I'm thinking there were a couple. Of, there was a really great move with Whopper at the end. But Ziggy, at one point, went into that whole flurry, which was very intimidating because it was right in front of us. And you could see the power of these and things. It was, that he's it just was very, very away, close to, to landing a, a yeah, pretty yeah, good flip. Yeah. I mean, it's an old saying, but it's a shame that somebody has to lose a lot of that. I mean, yeah. we've, we've seen a lot of this tonight. We're, we're, well, we're all balanced, well driven robots. Yeah. And, and here again, back to that thing of these things have been around. And these machines have they've worked them out. They know how to drive them. They have a lot of combat experience in the arena. 
And it makes for a much better match. And it makes, no matter what you design, it's harder to beat you, whatever you're, else is going, whatever you're going up against. You know, with Bullion, we saw somebody who was like, you know, first or second time. And so that showed, and that, that's good, because you, you have to start somewhere and all that. But we're also, we all have, also have a lot of really, I don't mean to use the word, old, <laughs> <laughs> but people who've been doing this for a long hey, time. Hey, I'm not like, old, I'm middle-aged. Oh, yeah, well, listen, let's just not go. Or so I'm told. Let's just not go there. We're talking robots, we're not talking humans. So <laughs> Now, how much of a threat does a robot like Ziggy Jr. actually pose to Womper when Womper is so good at self-writing itself? If it was flipped over, there's kind of no doubt in my mind that he just would have ended up yeah. right back where he was. Well, it, he, he'd want to throw him out of the arena. So, okay, the, so that's gap. how you get that definitive yeah. victory with a robot yeah. with and, such a good and, self-writing. And here at RoboGames, those, I'm guessing like 18 inches between the Lexan and the top of the bumper bar. All right, we have a decision. This is an incredibly close fight. 17 to 16, winner, Ziggy Jr. Ooh, wow, wow. No, that, that certainly reflects what I saw. 17 you know? to 16, Could it does not get closer than that. Way.